Hey everyone, Mark here from Tongue Drum Songs. If you're like me, you just love the tone of the tongue drum. And also, if you're like me, you like to share your songs with others, either family and friends or people on the internet through YouTube videos. But you may find that you have trouble recording the tongue drum without it either being noisy or you're catching a lot of background noise. So in today's video, I'm going to show you five different ways you can use microphones to record the tongue drum. We're going to do a test to see which one works out the best. So for the first test, we're simply going to use the iPhone 12 and its built-in microphone. So I'd say the tone's not terrible, but you do pick up a lot of background noise. And if you are trying to record in a noisy environment, it's very hard to get a very good recording. For the next test, we're going to use a wireless lapel mic. It's the same mic I'm using now when I'm talking, but instead of having the lapel mic pointing upwards to my voice, we're going to have it pointed downward towards the drum. So as you can hear, that was a pretty lousy recording. In fact, I'd much rather go for the, just the regular built-in iPhone microphone any day of the week compared to this lapel microphone. So for this next microphone test, we're going to use a magnetic microphone. I got this one off Etsy several months ago. So you just plug it into an amplifier or an audio workstation. It is magnetic, so it will connect automatically to the edge of your tongue drum. So let's give it a listen. So as you can hear, it may be clearer than the iPhone built-in camera or the lapel mic, but I don't know about you, but I found that the tones where the microphone was connected to, they were nice and clear, and you could hear everything, but tones that I played on the other side of the drum, they seemed to drop out a bit more. So I don't know if I'd uh, want to go with this thing full term. Maybe I'll have to experiment with it a bit. So for the next microphone test, we're going to use the Shure MV51 dynamic microphone. This connects to all iOS devices or it can uh, connect up to your laptop as well. So let's give that a listen. So as you can hear, that's a lot better. A lot clearer, nice warmer sound. A little bit of hiss in the background, but otherwise, this is so far the superior microphone for recording the tongue drum. So for the last microphone test, we're going to use the Stellar X2 from TZ Audio Products. This is a condenser microphone, and it is the most expensive option out of everything we've shown so far. But anyway, let's give it a listen. So just like the Shure microphone, it's a lot clearer, a lot warmer, but I'm noticing with this microphone I'm hearing less hiss in the background and overall it's a bit, actually a fair bit warmer 
than any of the microphones we've tested so far. But like I said, this is the more expensive option out of all five. But if you're really concerned about getting the best recording out of your tongue drum, definitely might be something you want to consider, especially if you're going to be starting up a YouTube channel or something and you don't want to just be fooling around. You just actually want, want to get some really nice recordings. Anyway, I hope this microphone test helps you pick out a better way to get capture your songs, capture your musical ideas. Anyway, thanks for watching Tum Drum Song. Bye for now.